Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with the MIUI 11 screen. Life gets easier, so let's just tap on the arrow uh, and from here choose your language. Now by default it opts, up, opts into my language but we are going to choose something more uh, respectable right, like English right here. And let's go to next, then choose your region. Now this can stay as it is right now. Um, hopefully for you it's the same, uh, considering correct one. If not, you can choose your language from the list. We can also type here to search it, which will probably make it easier. And this will also in turn set the correct uh, time zone for well, the time. Then you have connect network, which simply allows you to connect to Wi-Fi if you have some in your area. Now if you don't, you can just simply tap on skip and completely disregard this and proceed on. And then you have terms and conditions, uh, so you can read those if you are interested. Uh, user agreement right here. Uh, you have, uh, okay, there we go, we just finished reading, now we can go back. Um, and yes, I have read it uh, and I are agreeing to it. Let's tap on next. Then it's looking for a SIM card. Now this step completely doesn't really matter. I can insert the SIM card right now, later, and it will change literally nothing. Once you do, the phone will work as though the SIM card was there all along. You won't have to do anything and everything will be working just fine. So let's tap on arrow and disregard that. Then you have Google services. So we have number one, localization. Uh, so use location, uh, allow apps to services. Um, basically, it just uses your location for apps that require it, for instance like Google Maps. And then allow scanning, allows Google to know where you are. Uh, almost the same thing. Um, and uh, also it will then ask you those infuriating questions. How did you like the restaurant experience of, for instance, McDonald's? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna disable that and that and completely not have it on. Um, now certain apps like Google Maps will require me to enable this and also some annoying apps like uh, uh, some Huawei's and other for apps for the uh, smart homes or just accessories like uh, smart watches and stuff like that for no apparent reason on Windows and you have to enable them if you plan to use their device so that's just kind of crap and that we have to deal with um, then you have a device maintenance send user and diagnostic data um, so basically send whatever you're doing to uh, to Xiaomi, as, or well, in this case to Google actually, uh, so they can quotation mark improve the experience based on um, how you use your device. So you can also disable that if you don't want it and tap on more and then accept. And then we have set password. So we have two different ways of having a password. We can have either a pin, pattern or password. If we go with the bottom one, only screen lock. And then we can also add a fingerprint. Now, fingerprint cannot be just a standalone, uh, just a fingerprint. It needs to also use one of the screen lock options. Uh, but then the other way around, you can use screen lock and not have fingerprint. So you can go with this. And from here, you have the choice to set either pin, pattern, or password. I'm gonna go with the pattern. And then it gives me remember your password, like it's not obvious uh, that everybody needs to remember their password after all. It's not like it's a self-explanatory term. So let's just tap, we got it, um, then draw our pattern, then redraw that pattern, and tap on the arrow to confirm it. And there we go, now it's set. From here we have additional settings, uh, again, more localization, more user experiment programs, send diagnostic data automatically, uh, again, it's basically all repeating, uh, hopefully you won't, met, you won't read it, so it gets uh, checked on and stays on. Uh, automatic system updates, now this just means nothing uh, from what I've seen, uh, at least with my device. If I check this off, it basically tells me, oh, you have an update, and then you say, okay, cool, disregard it. And it then just uh, says, nah, over the night it upgrades anyway, where I cannot interfere with it because I'm too busy sleeping. And then we have personalized ads, which basically monitors what you're searching for on your device and then tries to give you the accurate ads on what you're searching for. So yeah, no thanks. I agree, and then next. 
and choose a theme. Now and here you have only two different themes at the moment, so you have the classic and the limitless. Choose whichever one you like more, the only difference is just the aesthetic of wallpaper and the uh, design of the icons. I'm gonna go with the limitless, let's tap on the arrow right there and finish the setup. Once we tap on the arrow right here. So we should be right about done with the setup once it's done loading apps because I didn't have time to do that before. And there we go. Yep, there we go. So now the device is fully set up and uh, like I said before, if you choose to insert a SIM card or connect to Wi-Fi, you can do that right now or at any moment in time and it will not change anything. But this is how you go to the setup and if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.